Today I'm going to show you this chicken coop. I picked it up tractor supply. I'm going to show you how I built it and what I think about it. So stick around. This coop is a Petmate Superior Construction 70401D. The box weighs a little over 150 pounds and it's pretty large. So I used a trailer to bring it home. But I believe you can also have it delivered. The first thing I did was take all the parts out of the box and check to make sure I have all the parts that were supposed to be in there according to the instructions. The instructions are pretty simple. It's just basically four drawings and then you have to make your way off that. Now the side panels have little dowels on it so that you can align them up and then use your drill to screw in the screws to put them together. And the screw holes are pre-drilled so that makes it a lot easier. They just take a regular Phillips bit. So really easy to put together. I think it took me about two hours to actually put the whole thing together. And then the rest of the stuff took a bunch, <laughs> a bunch of more time to do the painting and digging up around the sides. I'm repositioning the wall to a spot that easier for me to put the coop all together. Now these, this wall here, this back wall, it actually doesn't have the dowels on there, so I just use a, one of the flat boards to put it under there, there just to line them up. That way I know it's the right height from the bottom up. And then you can screw in the screws. And you can see here I'm on the other side. Since my uh, lawn is sloped, that I had to hold one end up. Now the actual cage part works the exact same way. They do have little dowels in there, so you can just put them together and screw them together just like that. Very simple. And then once you've put the three sides together, then you can put it right to the other box, the actual coop part. And that I think it just took three screws. That was it. All right, and here's inside the coop where their roofs are. So this board just fits right in here and these are separators. So they have a nice place to sit by themselves. Here's the perches that go on the inside of the coop itself. They just sit right in there. As far as the roofs, it's the same thing. They have little pegs on there, so little dowels, and you can just put it right into a spot. And once you've got them in the spot, you just screw them right into place. Very simple. They're not heavy, so it's pretty easy to maneuver them around and work with them. And the screws for those have little plastic washers, so that rain won't go past the screws. And this one's just a little bit taller, so I got on a ladder and I used the ladder to make sure I got the screws in the right place. The very top gable is just wood, so I would suggest painting that before you put it on. I painted it after, but it would be a lot easier to paint it before you put it up there. Because my lawn is sloped as it is, I cut some 2x4s and made angles on them so I could even out the whole thing so it sits nice and flush. And you can see there I used my bandsaw and that thing works awesome. Very happy with it. So once I've got the cuts made I just screwed in the bottoms these 2x4s so that it will stay in place and not go anywhere and it won't lean or do anything funny. Okay now that I've got this built I went and dug about 12 inches outside all around so that I could put a little fence down there to keep out any critters. Uh, you know, the bears, the wild dogs, you know. The, oh, don't forget the vultures. The or vultures. They like to call them. Or the, the wild kitties. Turkey vultures. Yes. Wait, no. What is it? Well, pretty much just our dogs because we're in a fenced area. But it's just smart to do that. Uh, while I was digging those up, the family helped me out and they're painting the walls. Uh, we chose this blue. It's beautiful. I'm gonna paint white clouds on this. What, side what of color it. is that blue? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's blue. We can get the can. <laughs> we'll get the can and we'll put it in the description. It's really nice. Blue. So here's the hardware cloth. I just used tin snips and cut right through to get the sides down My on the bottom. I should have gone and bought an expensive tool to avoid bleeding. And I didn't bleed. No, I didn't cut myself. I scratched myself quite a bit. Isn't that the same? No, that's this way different. It's no awesome. blood. It's awesome. you didn't cut yourself. <laughs> and then I just used uh, a pneumatic uh, staple gun to actually attach them to the base so that they'll stay in place. So 
Any critters trying to dig in there are not going to get inside. Even the dogs? Even the dogs. Okay. So, Hopefully. And then we're just going to finish up trimming everything off with uh, just some white paint so that the wood doesn't warp. And there we go. Now we have a beautifully built chicken coop. Look at them in there. That's our babies. Yep. You can see, here's the back door so that you can get to the eggs if you want to get to the eggs there through really cool because you can yeah. close the, and lock the front door of the coop after mm -hmm. they go out in the morning and then access the eggs from the back which is great for us and there's a little pan there you can remove to help clean it mm. so very cool all right so i think it's a cool chicken coop i haven't had it for more than a week but i'm going to extend it out and i'll make a video on that and it'll give them a little more room underneath so Check that out when it comes next and you have yourself a blessed day.